Good morning, everybody. It's Pam here with my sick little kiddo. Yeah, sick kiddo. We've been, we were up basically till 3.30. Hi. <laughs> we're up basically till about 3.30 this morning with this one because she was like doing this cough and fever and well, very fun. So, coffee is my best friend this morning. I am not going to lie about that. Can you say hi? No? Can you watch your PJ masks? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes today. I'm just going to turn the TV down just a tad. There. And, uh, yeah. My Monday morning motivation, I don't feel incredibly motivated this morning because of the crazy night but I am happy to be here with you guys live so if you do jump on live um, just say hey because you know I like to see who's on live and and uh, today I'm going to be talking about basically things you can do in your evenings that would help your mornings go a lot smoother so you're like a lot more motivated to get out of bed maybe <laughs> because it's uh because if you have you know if you don't have all the stuff to do you know if you've prepped everything if you've gotten stuff ready and you're oh sorry somebody's messaging me um if you get everything ready then it should be a lot easier morning right so uh i actually got this in an email 10 things um, you can do to prep, you know, make your evening, uh, do in the evenings to make your mornings easier. And from um, Success, from the Success Magazine website, uh, I just applied to get their, like, weekly emails or whatever. And I'm like, well, those are some pretty good tips and tricks. So I am going to share them with you guys. Um, so the first one they said is no caffeine after 7 p.m., myself I don't do caffeine after like four or five but you know depending on how your day is going I guess if you need a little extra bump to get you through the last part of your day then by all means um everybody's different everybody does things differently so uh, like I said mine is no caffeine after like four or five but it says here no caffeine after seven so um uh, reviewing your next day's calendar, so your to-do list, anything that you have planned for to-do for the next day, and identify the two, sorry, my pen's in the way, the two must-do tasks or goals for the day and make those your priority. So your mindset is already like, okay, this is what I have to do tomorrow and this is how I'm going to prepare for my day tomorrow. Um, the third one is... They said to shower before bed so you're not feeling rushed in the morning, I guess. I know lots of people, women specifically, they like to have their hair washed in the morning and do it that way. But personally, I think I'm going to implement this one because uh, sometimes I don't get a shower in the morning if it's, you know, if the kids wake up early or something happens, you know, because even last night I probably could have fit in a shower um, because she I put her to bed at like 8 and then she didn't like start getting upset in her crib until about 11.30 or so so I probably could have fit in a shower in there um, prep lunches and breakfast I know lots of people that do this I know when I used to work sorry uh, when I used to work I used to like to prep my my breakfast um, and I wasn't until recently, I just started doing this chia pudding stuff. I don't know if you really like that kind of thing. It's, it's kind of like tapioca because you have to chew it, but I don't know if you can see in there. It's like this chia seed pudding. I just went on Pinterest and found it. You put them in mason jars and they sit overnight in the fridge and then they're good for the next morning. I put in... This one I put in pumpkin seeds, like a little bit of pumpkin seeds, like a tablespoon. And I put in a tablespoon of like unsweetened coconut just to kind of give it a little bit of flavor. Because other than that, like it's chia seeds. This one was almond milk, like unsweetened, like not 
flavored almond milk and some vanilla which will give it the vanilla flavor and a little bit of um sorry people are messaging me a little bit of honey and oh, no, a honey maple syrup so, yeah, i'm sure you could do the honey too but um that's what i've been kind of prepping for mornings that i'm not like gonna cook breakfast for my family so this past weekend i was cooking breakfast pretty much all weekend yesterday we had pancakes and bacon you know it's for mornings that you're work you know at work and you're crushed for time you know, these kind of things are super easy to whip up and you can throw a couple things and then you can throw some fresh berries in there and just make it super yummy. So, um, and it's not incredibly sweet either, which is what I like because yeah, I don't do sweet stuff in the morning. Hey, no, would you not steal my pen? I know you can have your juice. You don't want mommy's breakfast. <laughs> she thinks she wants my breakfast. Um, and prepping lunches, my oldest, yeah. I know. You want to try it? Try it. She wants to try some of my breakfast. We'll see. Okay, ready? Oh. Let's see. Ready? Um? No? Um? You wanted to try some. Try. <laughs> How's that? Not entirely sure. No? Is it good? <laughs> She's not sure. I know she likes when I do plain yogurt with maple syrup, but uh, I might make some bacon because my husband's home. He's getting ready for night shift, so he's sleeping in. But I might make some bacon. I don't know if she'll eat that. Um, and like I was saying earlier, my oldest is not in school full time. She's only she only does half days. She only does every, she does Monday and Wednesday mornings. So I just give her a snack. I don't have to prep too much. I just throw a few things in her lunchbox and she's good to go. But next year when she's got full days, then she will need to have a lunch and I will be prepping that lunch or something before, the night before because yeah, being rushed in the morning is not fun. Um, laying out your clothes. I do this sometimes for the kids. So they don't have to go rummaging through their drawers trying to find stuff. Um, especially if the little one's still sleeping and the older one needs to get up and go to school. And we don't want to wake her up. You're going to have an accident there, child. Oh, okay. Um, I like to lay out the older one's clothes just so I'm not rummaging around in the dark. <laughs> um, no phones or electronics one hour before bed. That includes phone calls. So... What I like to do is I put my phone on do not disturb and I just leave it plugged in on my nightstand for like the hour before bed because I just, like, it's not necessarily specifically screen time, it's like overstimulation and uh, I try, I've been, tr I try, I do read most of the time for that little bit before bed, at least a half hour before bed. My husband usually has the TV on if he's home with me. Um, like last night was Game of Thrones, so we had to watch Game of Thrones together, which is awesome. It's the one show that we watched together, so it's pretty awesome. Um, tidy up for about 10 minutes before you go to bed, like in the evenings, so you wake up to like a clean space. So like clean up your kitchen, or clean up your bedroom a little bit, you know, just something so you're like waking up to a nice clean space and it's not cluttered and, and driving your brain crazy. This one I have not done, but I'm looking, I'm going to look into it, is spritz some lavender on your pillow and your bed and stuff because lavender is like a calming scent and uh, you'll associate it with bed. You'll notice that lots of like baby products, like bath time, bedtime products have a lavender scent to it. So it's to stimulate the calming feeling so that they want to go to sleep. Makes sense, right? Um, read before sleep. I kind of already touched on that. I do, I do tend to read most of the time before bed. Right now, I'm reading a book called "You Are a Badass" by Jen Cicero. So, uh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit motivating. It's like yeah, rah rah rah, you're a badass. Um, for just before bed, but I started it when I was on the plane to Vegas, and yeah, it's a really good book. So I can't put it down. And then the last thing they have on here is dim lights for an hour before actual lights out. Um, 
in our house we have you know windows so and last night it wasn't dark out until like 11 so it's a little bit harder to do this sometimes especially with the summer coming but if you just kind of don't have all the lights on I guess uh, I'm trying to, to dim the lights and to kind of create that sleepy calming mood with the spritzing and the reading and the no electronics for that hour before bed then uh, that just kind of sets the tone I guess to actually have a really good sleep what are you wrecking um, one bonus one that I wanted to throw in here that I like to do in the evening is um, if you haven't read the magic yet I highly recommend it um, I do the 20 days of ma 20 days of magic all the magical practices I still write down gratitudes I don't generally do 10 a day anymore because instead of writing out 10 a day I do five and then I write out at least three two to three affirmations that I want to concentrate on for the day and then I write out daily intentions. Did you just sneeze snot everywhere? No, you're good. Um, so I write out daily intentions. So you intend to be, intend to feel, intend to receive, intend to do the things that you intend to do for the day. But uh, still at the end of my day, I do the magical practice called the magical rock. And I have a rock that my daughter found for me. It's all like sparkly and stuff. And she's like, here's, mom, here's your mom, here's your magic rock. So I use that and you just take your rock at the end of the day. I have it on my nightstand. And at the end of the day, you take it and you hold it and you think of like the best thing that happened that day or the thing to be most grateful for or something along those lines. And you just think about it and you replay it in your mind and just feel the feeling again, right? You feel the pride, the gratitude, the whatever and that's something that I really like to do and then just kind of ends my day on such a great note and it fills my brain with so much peace and love and gratitude and it generally tends to you know how your brain doesn't switch off if it's like if there's too much going on like you know if your phone's on or TV's on overstimulation if you can do these things like reading and gradually shutting your brain down then I have I have more of a chance of getting a good night's rest without my brain going crazy if I do these things. So, um, like I said, I'm like, I think I'm going to start doing that lavender thing. It sounds pretty good. I like lavender anyway. So, I do have lavender oil that I might, I don't know what to pair it with. I think you pair it with some sort of other oil that you spritz. Anyway, we'll see. I'll figure something out. I'm sure I can find it on Pinterest. You can find everything on Pinterest. So, yeah, those are my 10 plus 1 bonus um, 10, 10 plus one bonus things that you can do in the evening to set up your day, your morning for success each day. But I hope that brought you a little bit of inspiration, motivation on a day like today. Um, on my, on a day like today where my day is kind of we're having a rough start and just kind of getting, well, just kind of getting going. Uh, in the morning is a little bit difficult but um, I had my coffee pot set this morning so as soon as I started smelling that I'm like okay yeah I can do this I can get up <laughs> just may need to drink the whole pot but I'll be there <laughs> uh, anyway I hope you all have an awesome week and I will be here again uh, next Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time so it's 9 Pacific or noon Eastern um, feel free to share if you're getting value from me. I would definitely appreciate that. And um, I, sorry, my hand's starting to shake for some reason. I will talk to you all next week. Have an awesome week. Love and appreciate you all. Thank you.